Welcome to this demonstration of SnapLogic, the Intelligent Integration Platform. In this session, we'll be connecting to SAP's Data Warehouse Cloud. This is just one of the many use cases that SnapLogic as a platform offers its customers. High degrees of, of functionality, high degrees of productivity, and high degrees of intelligence are core capabilities of this platform. So let's get started. So uh, before I can create a table in SAP, load a file into SAP, create a schema, or possibly replicate data from another database like Oracle and create those tables in an automated format or fun function uh, in SAP, uh, DW, Data Warehouse Cloud, I need to create an account. So let's start there. So I'm gonna to go to my HANA snap and I'm just gonna grab any snap. I'm gonna drag it on the screen and I'm gonna create a new space and a new account uh, for SnapLogic to connect to SAP DWC. So we're selecting the HANA account. I say, all right. So I'm going to give it here a uh, descriptive name, which is, not surprisingly, video demo. All right. So I need these pieces of information, host name, port, database name, username, password. And there's one other piece of information that is relevant. So now you see I'm in uh, our instance of the Data Warehouse Cloud. And I'm going to go into the SnapLogic 01 uh, space and I'm going to create a new open SQL schema. And I'm going to give it a name. Guess what? Okay, video demo. I create it. I'm going to take the schema name and I'm going to paste that into not only the database name, but also the username. I'm going to grab the host name. paste it in here. Now, some of you what may have noticed that the port number that we have is incorrect. Uh, it's 21368. Let's see if I have short-term memory fade. Nope, that works. All right, and then of course, here is the password. Say OK. I paste that here into SnapLogic. Now, there's one more thing I need to do. Data Warehouse Cloud is a highly secure resource. So for me to be able to connect to it, I need to set the URL properties that are used to connect to uh, DWC uh, uh, to use encrypted connections. So I just add that little tag down at the bottom. And if I'm, I want to make sure I see it next time, I can do these kinds of things to make sure I can see everything. All right, so let's go ahead and validate it. Make sure that I've met the minimum criteria necessary to connect and it works. So now we go to the Data Warehouse Cloud. So you can see here, here is the space that I can now connect to and all of the capabilities necessary to be able to do things like define uh, uh, tables, uh, uh, populate them with data, automate the replication of data from one to another. All of these capabilities exist within the SnapLogic platform quickly and easily. For more information, please visit snaplogic.com. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day.